AI is no longer just evolving, it's exploding. From driverless taxis and AI agents to health coaches and even AI systems that know you better than your best friend, the breakthroughs coming in 2025 are crazier than ever. Many industries will be disrupted and humanity itself will be redefined. But there's a shocking twist at the end. The rise of AI weapon systems that could change warfare forever. So stick around because we're witnessing history in the making and you don't want to miss it. Starting in 2025, AI will no longer answer questions. Instead, they will start to plan and act in the world and solve goals. This is called the agent behavior of AI, and it will drive the next generation of AI usefulness. In 2022, everyone was saying how AI would be like having your own assistant. But in 2023 and 2024, we learned that AI was not even close to being our assistant. At best, they were smarter versions of Google. But now, with agents, AI could finally be called a true assistant. Agents are already here, and major companies like Google are already using them. AI agents are basically AI systems that can do whatever they want. But this doesn't mean that the agents can do anything. They're usually specialized in one specific task, like a customer agent. Google has already come up with six different agents, including customer agents, employee agents, creative agents, data agents, code agents, and security agents. So as AI systems become more specialized, the need for jobs like customer service agents will go down in 2025. And it seems like Google is not the only major company focused on AI systems. OpenAI has already made a shift in AI, focusing on software that operates devices and automates tasks. Basically, OpenAI is trying to build agents that can take control of a customer's computer. After that, the person could ask the AI agent to open a document, transfer data from a PowerPoint to a spreadsheet, and so much more. They are working on two types of agents at the moment, computer agents and web-based agents. The first kind will learn to operate a computer just like a human would, and the second type of agents will navigate the web. Agents can potentially change how we use smart devices in 2025, and OpenAI is leading the revolution. Another thing AI is leading the revolution in is smashing that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, OpenAI is leading the revolution in AI orbs. The line between reality and AI is getting blurry, especially in the digital world. AI is getting so good at impersonating people that few can tell the difference between deep fakes and actual people. But Sam Altman is trying to change that with an eyeball scanning orb called World. Celebrities have begun copywriting their likeness as more and more companies use their face in ads, endorsements, and social media posts without their consent. Think about it. How would your likeness become the new face for a strange brand of hemorrhoid cream? What's worse, as AI becomes more sophisticated, people won't be able to distinguish between the real you and your deep fake. Well, in an attempt to stop this from happening, Sam Altman is building an orb that will determine if the person you're watching is real or an AI deepfake. So far, 7 million people have scanned their faces and received 7 million unique world IDs that are based on individual biometrics. As the line between AI and reality gets blurred even further in 2025, this world orb could be the only thing helping us tell the difference. Amazon's Alexa will be getting a major overhaul. Right now, Amazon is working on an Alexa powered by custom-built LLMs and optimized for voice commands. So, it's possible that Alexa will have a different wake-up word, improved conversation skills, and it's possible that Alexa will recognize who's talking to her just by analyzing the person's tone and color of voice. OpenAI roared on the virtual assistant scene with an AI assistant of their own, and it's miles better than anything Siri is able to do right now. Google is constantly advancing Gemini, so there's something of a voice assistant renaissance going on in the field of AI. These voice assistants will actually become even more useful with AI memory, which we will be discussing next. 
Right now, when you ask an AI assistant to give you 10 dishes you can cook for dinner, it doesn't give you 10 dishes that you like and that are specific to your tastes. AI just sees a hungry human being, so it suggests food options. But with AI memory, the assistant will know exactly what to suggest specific to your wants and needs. With AI memory, the system will remember what you told it in the past and give you suggestions tailored to you. In other words, the more you use AI, the more personal it will become. Speaking of which, OpenAI's GPT-40 just released the personalization tab to select accounts and regions. So in 2025, we could see them rolling out these AI personalizations, AKA memories to all users across the world. Now, while AI systems and software improve daily, humanoid robots are advancing at exactly the same pace. Currently, smaller companies are releasing robot pets like Emo and Luna, while Tesla, Boston Dynamics, and Unitree are working on humanoid robots that could replace humans in the workplace. Musk recently announced Optimus Gen 3, and in 2025, we can expect the robots to be released to select households for beta testing. Atlas from Boston Dynamics is already working alongside humans in warehouses, so in 2025, he might be replacing co-workers. Meanwhile, Unitree just released the cheapest $16,000 humanoid robot, Unitree G1, for the mass market, so 2025 will definitely be their year. But all of these robots are nothing without good reasoning and reliability. Sam Altman's biggest goal at the moment with GPT is to just make it smarter. If you were to go to any AI system and ask it something like, if someone moves something from one bag to another, but the bags were transparent, could you see what's inside? Chances are the AI will not realize that the bag is transparent. Altman is calling his own creation stupid, and he says that this one will be the stupidest one people will have to use. So 2025 will be the year we get overall smarter AI systems with greater reasoning power. This increased brain power will enable AI to enter healthcare. We've all found weird bumps on our skin. When we ask Google for answers, they are alarming at best and downright terrifying at worst. But what if there was an AI tool where you could ask all your medical questions and it could answer them with impressive accuracy? Well, Medical Gemini does just that. Google is working on an AI system that will help detect, analyze, and diagnose medical questions. It's currently the best AI model for answering medical questions, and it even surpassed GPT-4. Plus, imagine getting a medically accurate fitness coach that can memorize your progress and give you personalized diet and exercise tips. Now let's talk about transportation. People are trying Waymo and Cruise, driverless taxis, and they're loving it. It's cheaper, safer, and an overall better experience. In the past year, driverless taxis were only available in San Francisco, but new cities were slowly being added to that list. In 2024, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Austin, Texas were added to the list of cities where you can order a robo-taxi. And in 2025, even more cities are expected to get them. Meanwhile, Tesla plans to join the robo-taxi game with their cyber cab in 2027. According to NVIDIA, 2025 will be the year AI will finally become truly multimodal. With the newest version of GPT 4.0, they showed the entire world that the new system could handle not only textual inputs, but also visual, audio, and 3D objects. To show off these special abilities, OpenAI created a dedicated web page showcasing all of GPT 4.0's abilities. And Google's new AI studio allows you to upload videos, images, text, and audio. These multimodal systems are expected to be released in 2025, giving humans access to powerful AI tools that can not only analyze, but also give multimodal answers. Another thing AI is disrupting is weaponry. This is Roadrunner. It's a reusable vertical takeoff and landing autonomous air vehicle or AAV. It can intercept flying objects in a designated area and chase after them without human supervision. Everything is powered by AI. 
and this is becoming somewhat of a trend in flying weapon systems. Kratos is currently improving Valkyrie, an AI-powered stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle or UKAV. That's right, this fighter jet doesn't have a pilot inside and has the potential to change the face of human warfare forever. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.